Welcome everyone. My name is Maureen Leland and I'm here to talk all about how Domino powers Domino Volt and why it matters. So first, what is the architecture of Domino Volt? How did we build this thing? How is it put together? Well, right in the center, you can see we're running in a Domino server. This is all Domino all the time. Um, we have Volt is a, an app builder. Um, hopefully you've looked at some of the other videos and recordings to see all the wonderful things Volt can do for you as you build applications. But there is a builder UI where you actually edit your application. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, and then when your application is complete, someone will run the, the application, again, in a web browser. So how does the code, how does the UI get to these browsers? Well, it's served up out of the Domino Vault OSGI bundles that reside in a Domino server. So we have, you know, so the design time UI gets served up out of our UI uh, part, our build UI part, and the runtime UI gets served up, and all the execution code is all running in these OSGI bundles within the Domino server. Um, if you're familiar with XPages, it's a similar integration mechanism as that, um, except it's different code that will give you Domino Volt. Now, as you build an application, we keep your designs in voltbuilder.nsf initially. So as you're building, as you're saving, you know, you're actually the design of a Volt application is mostly encapsulated encapsulated in a single application.xml file that is stored in a document in this builder.nsf. You can think of this um, database as both a catalog of all your applications and actually all the applications on the system. Depending on who you are, you can see different, different applications. But you know, while you're editing, this keeps the, the current editing state of your application as well as the catalog. When you're happy with your application, you're ready to deploy it. So this is a somewhat different mechanism than Designer, except you can think about it. Um, in Designer, the pattern would be you make a local replica, and when you're ready, you often would deploy that to a server. So the, the deploy step here will take all the artifacts that are up in builder.nsf, the application.xml, any images you've added to the application, et cetera. And it will do a compile step. Is this going to work? It's going to generate forms and views and you know the domino design elements because this is a domino application we're building. And it's going to build those into an NT app. Now this, actually both these um, applications inherit from something we call voltapp.ntf. That just contains the building blocks for these applications. So once we're sure the compile is happy, we can generate all the forms and all those design artifacts. Then we will actually go ahead and create the NSF. We go through a file generation mode that generates all the file artifacts that the Vault code needs. And we'll see all this in a little bit, but you can see. The heart of this is Domino, and it's built with Domino pieces, and the Volt code is enabling a great new builder and runtime UI and a new way to build applications. So where are they stored? Your designs are in voltbuilder.nsf. Your deployed apps, every single deployed app has its own NSF, contains all the design elements. The NTF has only design elements in it. And it's really just, you can think of that as like a test place because once an application is deployed, we don't want to just for fun deploy into it. What if you have a mistake in your application and something goes wrong? You don't want to hurt the deployed app. So that NTF is like a safety net to make sure everything is going to go okay when we actually do update the potentially already running NSF. So one of the questions we get is, how does Domino Vault work with the Domino security model? Well, the answer is it works very well with Domino security model. Um, Vault has roles and access. You, you can, there are some built-in roles. Um, you know, who's the admin? Who's creating a record? 
who owns the record at the um, at this point in time. And you can create your own rules. Um, none of that is terribly new to Domino people, but we map these automatically for you into Domino speak. So we use the ACL. Um, that's the first layer of access to an application. Can you see this application at all? If you can, you'll be in the ACL. If you can't, you won't be. Now, document level security, well, Domino has a way of doing that too, authors and readers field. So we take advantage of those also. Um, so how can we use Domino data in our Domino Vault apps is another question we get very often. So first of all, the first thing I have to say there is your Domino Vault apps has, I mean, they are Domino data. You may want to access data in a different Domino application. So today in you know, our V1 product that shipped April 13th of 2020, um, you, the best way is through the Domino Access Services to get to the other applications. Now, obviously this is something we really know is important. So we're working on building tighter integration, um, tight, more direct access to Domino data. So Vault has a services UI. Um, we're also looking at making this UI, we're working with UI design to make this um, easier to use, prettier, all sorts of um, things, but we can integrate the Domino design, Domino data through services, and we're working on that for the next quarterly release. Now, another question we often get is, all right, these are Domino apps. I can open them in Designer, what can I do with them? Um, and I'm going to show you that. The GA product, when you look at a form in Designer, I will confess isn't quite as well laid out as this page is, but this, so you're getting a sneak peek right here of, of what will be in the first quarterly release. Just a small change, but um, it's important. So, you know, here's a picture. It's, it's always better to see it for real. So let's just go to designer now. Now, training request is one of our sample apps that you've probably already seen. Um, but just in case you haven't, let's just peek at it in Volt. This is the Volt application UI. I can edit this application, it's already been deployed, but we're just gonna take a quick look at it so we can do some comparisons. Now, you know, this is one of the forms. You'll see that over here we have, um, this application has two forms. One of the forms has, has two pages, one of the other form has a, only a single page. Um, the fields are laid out nicely. Um, it's a training request application. You know, we've got some, we use Domino Speak, we've got some hide winds going on, lots of different fields. But how does this application map to Domino? Um, let's go see, back to Designer, one of my favorite places. So we see, here's the list of forms. This is the application. The training, it's got the title, same title. It's on my server. It's got an ugly file name. Um, that's for security purposes. And But if you do do a control open in, in a client or designer, you will see the pretty name here. Um, so what do you see? Here's the list of forms. There's a single form generated for every form in the Vault application. File and Vault form, those are building blocks that come from the voltapp.ntf template. We need these guys so that, so that we can actually build the other pieces. So if I open up this guy, the request form, you'll see, you know, that's what we had a screenshot of in the slides. Um, and this is, this maps, this has all the data mapping for the, form you saw in the editor before. Now, for every form, we also have a selection of views. So these hidden ones are just, they're, they're labeled Volt internal view. Um, they're used by us for different things. And this one will help us find a document quickly, et cetera. Um, all documents is kind of there for convenience. 
But again, in cat, cat view, that's a categorized view, um, we use that for, to track um, parent-child relationships if, if you have a table on your form. But you have a view, so here's your request view. It's got all the fields that are on the form. If we go back to the form for a minute and I click on this, you'll see, oh, what are we doing here? Well, there's a subform on there. There's also a subform generated for every form. And this is done so that if you want to reuse this form and if you want to make the background pink or blue or green or make some other changes to the form, this subform, once, it, once the form is generated with the subform on it, when we, if you redeploy an application, this subform will be completely regenerated. But the form that has already been generated does not need to be touched. So this allows us to isolate the design artifacts to both simplify deployment and to protect any changes you may make. Now, if you make any changes in the subform, they will be blown away if you redeploy. Um, at least in this quarterly release. Um, there's some other subforms that are, again, um, they come from the template, they're building blocks. So there's shared fields. Coming from Domino Designer, when I, or when I figured out how I used as many de Domino Design elements as I thought could be useful. So took advantage of shared fields, shared columns, and, you know, there's, Here's the shared, here's the created by shared column. You know, so basically building blocks so we can construct this application for you um, and with reusable components. Now, I'm gonna go into resources. This application doesn't have any images, but it does have a whole lot of files. Now these are generated during the deploy process. And here's the application.xml. You know, this is basically the definition of your application in Volt speak. Um, but all these files are necessary for the Volt application to run. So if you happen to find yourself in Domino Designer, you really do not want to delete any of these files because then your application, your Volt application won't run. So you can do things with this NSF though that could prove useful. Um, you know that you could add different views, you could add new forms. Um, you know th this is going to be a database full of documents. They are going to have the security imposed by Volt on them, but you know there may be other things a Domino Designer developer may want to do. And one of the things I've chosen to demo today is I have added an agent to this database called Track Me, not the most um, inspired name, but it's um, an agent that runs on event when documents are created or modified. Now, because this is in the Volt app, if through the Volt UI you create or modify a document, then this agent is going to run. Now, I just wrote a teeny bit of Java code here. And what this agent does is when you save a document or create a document through the, well, in this database, whether it's through the Volt UI or not, it's going to take, you know, it's going to find the unprocessed documents, it's going to open another database, and it's going to take a couple fields out of the document that were there. So this is, these are two fields on the request form, and it's going to write them as documents in a different database. Um, I'm sure you will have, if you, if you decide to write an agent, it'll probably be a much more realistic use case. But let's just, for fun, let's go back to my applications. Let's see this guy in action. Let's launch this. And I'm going to make a training request for, let's see, which one of my dogs needs training? I would say captain needs to take a course. Captain at gmail.com. Captain's manager is Breezy, although he doesn't really realize it, but Breezy at gmail.com. 
captain needs some leadership training. He doesn't need to travel for it because he can't drive a car because he's a dog. And we're going to submit that record. All right, so what happened? Here is the same application open in the notes client. Now, if I refresh it, there is the new document I created. All right. Now, here's Volt Tracker. Nothing's there yet. Why not? Because, well, the agent manager runs whenever it feels like it. We can make the agent manager run right now by saying, tell, we're just going to tell it to do that. It's going to find the unprocessed document, which is the one we just created. I'm going to refresh that. And there, the agent that was in my Volt application ran. So with that, I hope you can see that we really do have a Domino application at its heart. You've got all the power of Volt. You've got all the power of Domino. If a mid-code person wants to come in and they know Domino Designer and they see a way to add value to this application, they should carefully um, feel free to do that. I hope you have enjoyed and learned something from this demo today. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.